to my channel, Captain Johnny Stabile. I'm out here with a good buddy of mine today, Ryan. What's up, he boys? also has a YouTube channel, and as everybody knows, Land Shark, aka Victor Lubin. What's going on, guys? We're out of my home inlet today, and we are going to be running way offshore to see what we can get into. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Boys! Here we go. I'm eight. I'm eight. Get him, brother. What do you got, Johnny? I got a little mahi action going on here. I don't know if he's going to be illegal. we got to get the scale out. And... And... Come on, boy. See the right. Woo! Johnny put the first dolphin right there. That's the first dolphin. That's the first dolphin on my pathfinder. Is it really? Yeah. Oh, man. Okay, little friend, open the cooler. We're just gonna slide you in there nicely and then we'll take the hook out of you. Oh. There we go, just close the box for a second on him. We got blood on the camera screen. We're out here doing it. We just found some weeds. Good eyes by the boys today. We're gonna get that guy unhooked and get back to it. There's a whole, oh, they're right there. There's a whole school dolphin on the boat. We're gonna just try to get one on the fly real quick. Cause why not, right? Oh, you're eight, you're eight, you're eight, you're eight. I'm eight. <laughs> I'm eight. Oh, no. I'm tangled. Woo! Got that <laughs> on video. That was awesome. Pro tip, guys, do not wear boots when fly fishing for dolphin. There we go, on the reel now. Tighten that drag down a little bit. Look at them all with it. This is so sick. Another huge, this is definitely a bucket list item for me. I know that I throw that term around loosely, but definitely a bucket list item for me. Look at all the fish with them too. It's insane. Did yours keep it on? Uh, mine is probably a keeper. Uh, no, he's not. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna just try to pop him off. There we go, he popped the fly right off. Got one on fly, bro. All right, let's try to get a legal one now. Yep. Okay. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh, he ate it, he ate it, he ate it. Oh yeah, oh yeah. You getting those sick angles, Ryan? Uh -oh. Look at all the dolphin weather. The one I got on now is a keeper. Oh, he popped off. You know what? All right. There we go. Dave. Yeah, these guys are. There's a lot of small ones. There is. Sense. Look at how curious they are, though. You hook one and they all follow them, you know? Yeah. You're going to love these slow mo shots. So last time we came here, we started casting. Sometimes you don't see the dolphin. Dolphin! Right there. Dolphin right there. <laughs> oh, wow. They're fired up today. Oh Got them! They're all over the boat. There's the chair. Look at, there's hundreds of them under us. I got a real nice one too. All right, open. All right, this is like 15 pound 
fluoro, so. There you go. All right. Okay, the chair is behind us. In the box. What happened, Vic? <laughs> there it is. Nope, I got a small one. What's that? Yeah, we got a Yeah. Everybody's tight, boys. Look at all of them. They're just right next to the boat here. These are aggressive eating dolphin too. Look at them all chasing the jig. Got them. Too small? Um, four line. Four line. We already got five in the box. Yeah, we lost a nice one. That one just jumped off there. That was the biggest one. Yeah, that's the biggest one. What is going on? Why can't I keep one on the hook here? You want to go jig? Yeah, no. That's a good one. Oh, he's not that big. He's foul hooked. working on them here. We're trying to get one to the boat. They keep jumping off. I'm going to get this done. Um, yeah. 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 You guys, this is the most fun thing you can do offshore. Sight passing dolphins. It absolutely is. 2,500 size reels, 10 pound braid, 15 pound fluorocarbon leader, and a giant mustad jig. And you got to knock out. Johnny's a big fly guy. For all the fly fish out there, there's probably no more exciting fish acrobatic than getting him on the fly. Right, I got a fresh jig. Dolphin. I was just trying to release that last mahi, and he's a keeper. Down there. Yeah, the big ones are at the bottom. Take the big Here, I'm gonna open the, the cooler. Drop my jig. Nice. Oh, missed him. There you go. Thank oh, you. Perfect on Perfect. Don't you just love when it organically happens that like that? Like that. Oh. We're in the dolphin. There we go. There we go. He ate. He ate. He ate. He ate. We're in the dolphin. There we go. There Johnny. That's, a That's two. That's Woo! a good third one, dude. Yeah. All right. That's the way it's done. That's two. That's Woo! Two. Yeah. Yeah, baby! Oh yeah. He's a smaller fish, but... Hey Vic, you want to do me a solid and just leader that fish for me? Eight. On the dolphin. You have a nice fish, John? Yeah! yeah. Dang. Dude, that's dope. Look 
good jumping back there. Just having a good old time. I mean, I think this is gonna be the last fish that I keep. I've got three in the boat. I'm gonna donate one to Victor for his dinner. I'm gonna make one for fish dip, and I'm gonna make one for dinner and make dolphin sandwiches tonight. Yeah, I got a decent one on. Put on the white bait? Nine. On a little baby jack. Oh yeah, I got a nice one on. Do you? Yeah. My man. Nothing cooler than that right there. Is your GoPro on? Yeah. Just gonna spin it. Spin it to win it. I think this might be my biggest dolphin today on fly. I think this is my biggest dolphin today, period. Grab that. Just clip it somewhere. They're all over the boat. It's the most beautiful thing in the world. On the fly. Man. I love their little blue peck fins. Yeah. All right, Johnny, get them in. I should have changed this tip out. This is like 15 pound tip out. I lead her the other one and didn't break. Okay. Okay. Time to get you in, bud. I just don't want to pop the hook either. I think I'm going to jump right in the boat. It's coming in. That's how it's done right there, guys. On the seven weight Nautilus. Hope you guys can see that. I'm going to get this guy in the cooler and get the boat cleaned up. And that right there is how it's done, boys. Check out, I'll show you guys the fly in a second. But um, they're kind of skittish of some of the bucktail jigs, so that fly's got a lot of flash right there. I'll show it to you in a second, but that is how it's done. On the seven weight Nautilus. Whew. Dinner, we're eating good tonight, boys. I'm gonna do the dolphin with the fly rod. There we go, I'm eight. I'm eight. Ooh, I'm not eight. Oh, I'm back eight. I'm eight. Oh yeah, I'm eight. Oh yeah, I'm eight. I'm eight. I'm eight. They like that small shit. Yeah, they do. Woo! Johnny is just crushing up here. Look at you, man. Look at you go. Fly anglers big, everywhere. Big fly guy. Fly anglers everywhere, are just smiling as I cast over you. This is. This is honestly. Okay, I was really stressed out before, and my video is probably going to show that. And Ryan's off. Yeah, I'm off. I was on. Um, yeah, we were so stressed when we first got on these things. We're all trying to do our own thing. Yeah, but you got to just honestly, my my word of advice to everybody that comes out and gets on a hundred dolphin. I mean, look at that guy right there. Um, literally, take your time, get all your things in order, and be prepared for total chaos look at that beautiful dolphin right there it's all about having fun well i'll grab your shit look at that guy okay and we're just gonna flip this guy right into the boat oh he wants to make another run And, hey Ryan, just flip him. I just don't, oh, I should have yeah, flipped no, him. You don't want to break the rod. In the boat. Nice. It's such a beautiful dolphin. Thumbnails? Yeah. Just real quick. Oh, I got a bowl. Uh, cameras in I got the bowl. Box. That's the fly. Well, that's we what used to be. That's what used to be of the fly. There are mahi mahi all over this. With me just holding the, the mahi out, Vic. 
All right, guys, we just loaded up on some dolphin for dinner tonight. We got a massive rainstorm behind us, so we're gonna get on out of here, get back to the boat ramp, pull the boat back on the trailer, and go home full of these fish up. Well, boys, we got it done today. Look at all those nice mahis in there. Stacked up all on either fly or artificial. No live bait. We're back at the fillet table. I forgot my knife today, so I had my Danko bait knife on the boat. I'm gonna show you if you're in a pinch, you can still do this with a bait knife. Uh, like I said, I'm in a pinch, so we're just gonna get right into it. I'm gonna start cutting right on the back of the fish here, and then just easily working up the dorsal fin. Oh. Just like that. You wanna go all the way to the head, and then Victor taught me this little trick here. You just want to turn there now. There we go, just like that. Um, we're gonna work back to the beginning and just basically you want to follow the knife with your finger, kind of opening up that area there. Just like that. Okay. Now we're just going to make a cut right across, across the top of the fish here. Make sure, just one more time, go over that backbone right over there just like that There you have it. All done with the uh, all done with the old bait knife. Now we're just gonna skin our fillet, just right there. Leave yourself a little bit of room. Don't worry about wasting that little bit of meat, and run it. It's a little bit shorter of a knife, so we just want it right on the edge of our fillet table, and we are just gonna run this straight on down. You want to leave a little bit of meat on the fillet itself. There we go. If you notice, I just left a super thin film of uh, fish on here. There's a, a membrane in the uh, in between the meat and the skin there that it's not really a bad taste, but it's just a taste that you don't want on your fillet. So we're just going to take this beautifully filleted, throw it in the water. We're just going to feel the bloodline here, and we got some pin bones that we want to cut out. Nice and easy there. You know, I got to say, it looks like you had a really good teacher. Someone kind of point you in the right direction because that is a good looking fillet if I say so myself. I got to give a shout out to my boy Victor who's standing right next to me here for teaching me how to properly fillet a dolphin that I just showed you guys. Even though I don't approve of that knife. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> here we go, our beautiful fillet. Pretty good for doing it with a with a bait knife that hasn't been sharpened or touched in my boat in probably over a year. So. We're going to fillet the other side, and we'll see you guys in the kitchen. Not bad for... Right up, Johnny. Oh, jeez. All right, so this is a, just a legal fish. The legal limit is 20 inches. This is probably 20 to 22 inches. We could have kept 30 of these today between Victor, Ryan, and myself. But it's very important nowadays to practice sustainable fishing. So we kept nine fish, three for each of us. That's more than enough to feed our families and to feed ourselves. And that way, when we go out next week and do this all over again... There's still those remaining 21 fish there. I have to do math on the fly like that under a lot of pressure when I'm looking at the camera. Um, anyway, we're going to get this guy filleted up and 
Use row, them as a paddle. Row, row your mahi. <laughs> All right, guys. Welcome to my outdoor kitchen that is currently under construction. But we've got our beautiful mahi here. I've already suctioned it for the sliders that we're going to do today. Very simple. Um, you can cook mahi a number of different ways. It's a very mild fish. Um, I prefer lightly blackened for sandwiches. So um, I've got some just some seafood magic here. I'm just going to put that on as our blackening seasoning. Pink Himalayan coarse salt. And I'm putting enough on to cover, you know, to flavor both sides of the filet. I just want to put that fish down bare, if you will, unseasoned so that the flame from the bottom, we're gonna be cooking on a green egg today. Um, that flame on the bottom doesn't burn any of the seasonings. Okay, and we're just top it off with a little bit of pepper. And then when I'm done with this, I'm just going to very simply squeeze, you know, a lime wedge over this fish and it's pretty much ready to go. Very simple. I didn't even need to use a binder because this fish was just a little bit wet. It's important for you to not rinse your fish with water that has chlorine in it. Unless you're going to cook it immediately, I always try not to rinse the fish at all. If I can rinse it in salt water, that's usually better. So let's move over to the green egg. By the way, I'm not affiliated with Green Egg. I just like their products. So don't feel obligated to purchase one. So we've got our green egg to about 450 degrees. We're just gonna pop these guys on really quick. Just like that. Beautiful. And we're gonna let, we'll let those cook for a few minutes check them out and then flip them over to the other side and they'll be ready to eat soon. Three or so minutes. Wow, those fillets are looking really, really good. So we'll just flip, flip them over like that. Oh yeah, got those good marks. This fish is super flaky, so you gotta be really careful with it. All right, we're gonna close that back down and give it another couple minutes and these guys will be done. Our fish is looking beautiful, as you guys can see. We're just gonna peel it off. It's been on there for about a total of six minutes. And these are some pretty thin fillets, so if you're doing a thicker piece, obviously you want it to be on there a little bit longer. There we go, just like that. Here's our beautiful mahi fillets. Tell me that doesn't look like the most amazing my sandwich you've ever seen. Anyway, see how it tastes. Mmm. It's on your face. Where does it land on Kel's list? That's the real question. It's very good. Um, I think I actually under seasoned it a little bit, but overall, I mean, it's very juicy. You can see the juice running down my hand here. Um, it's uh, it's pretty good. I mean, my tip to you guys, if you're gonna do this, is just add seasoning that you like, and I mean, it's perfectly cooked through. You know, all it takes is a few minutes with fish, especially when it's a nice thin fillet for a sandwich like this. Um, other than that. It's really good. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. We'll see you in the next one.